Hi. Now, in this question, we're given that x equals 3 tan of 2y minus 1, and we've got to find uy by dx. Now, the first thing that strikes me as different in this kind of question is normally you get questions where it says y equals, and you've got some function of x over here. But in this one, we've got x equals, and we've got over here y's. So how do we find dy by dx for situations like this? Well, we've got to remember this rule, or it helps to remember this rule anyway, that is that if you want to find dy by dx from dx dy, you should know that it's the reciprocal, 1 over dx dy. It's as if you find dx dy, and then you just invert it. OK, so let's make a start on this one. What we've got to do then is, first of all, find dx by dy. Now, unfortunately, this has got 3 tan of, it's not just 3 tan y, it's 2y minus 1. It's what we call a composite function in here. And we're going to need to use the chain rule. So what we do is we call this t, OK, and we think of this as x equals 3 tan t. I'll write it out over here so you can see what's going on. OK, what I've got is x equals 3 tan t, where the t is equal to 2y minus 1. And I said I'm going to use the chain rule. That is, if I'm going to find dx by dy, it's going to be dx by d something times the same d something here over dy. And that d something is going to be dt. So finding dx dy is going to be dx by dt. Now if x equals 3 tan t, you should know that the differential of tan anything is sec squared that anything. So we're going to have 3 sec squared t. But t is 2y minus 1. So that's going to go in there, 2y minus 1. I'll put all of that in brackets. So that's dx dt. Now I have to times it by dt dy. So if I differentiate t with respect to y, it's just going to simply be 2. So I'll pop a 2 in there. And if I clean this up, I'm going to get 6 sec squared OK, we'll just write it in. 6x squared, 2y minus 1. All right? Now, let's say you should really be able to do this straight off without really resulting to this. Because if I was doing this, I would basically say I've got 3 tan t then. And so if I differentiate that, I get 3 sec squared t. And I would just write the t in as 2y minus 1. Put this in brackets and multiply it by the differential of what I called t. t was the 2y minus 1, so times 2. OK, so that's essentially dx dy. Let's just clean this up. What we've got is 3 times the 2, which is 6. So we've got 6 sec squared 2y minus 1. Now, what is sec squared? sec squared is exactly the same as 1 plus tan squared of an angle. That's a basic identity that you should know. So we can think of this as 6 bracket 1 plus tan squared of this angle, 2y minus 1. Now, if I expand this out, no, I won't expand it out. Leave it as it is, I think, yeah. Okay. Then, let's just put that in a bracket. We've got 1 plus, now, tan squared 2y. Well, we know from up here that tan of 2y minus 1 equals x over 3. If we divide both sides by 3, tan of 2y minus 1 equals x over 3. So what I've got is x over 3, and this is squared, because it's tan squared of 2y minus 1. I think we could do away with that bracket and put a square bracket there, OK? That looks better. Now, let's 
just clean this up inside this square bracket. What we've got is the 6 and we've got 1 plus and if we square this out we've got x squared over 9. Now I could put all of this over common denominator and we'd have 6 and then if I put it over a common denominator of 9 then I'd have a 9 up here, 9 over 9 is the 1 and then I'd have just plus x squared so we get x squared over 9 and this cancels the 6 and the 9 cancel I can divide both the 6 and the 9 by 3 3 into 6 goes 2 3 into 9 goes 3 so what I've got is 2 bracket 9 plus x squared over 3 but remember this is dx dy and what we want is dy dx so all we've got to do now is use this principle here that dy by dx is 1 over dx dy which really means that we just need to turn this upside down so therefore dy by dx equals 3 all over 2 bracket 9 plus x squared and there you have it